is Young Trader, and this is Midday Trading. So we'll take a look here at crude oil and at natural gas. Uh, but first of all, we'll take a look here at Amazon, AMZN. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy selling stock commodity ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have Amazon. It's up about three bucks here today. Um, what we have going on here is they, I guess they told everybody they got to get back to work. Uh, so, you know what I mean? It's time to go back to work, man. Okay, enough of this nonsense. Uh, okay, so here we have old Amazon. Okay, so you can see where it rallied up here. But see, this is why you want to trade the charts. Okay, so you got a little bit above the 21-day, the went into the 8-day, and then we're just pulled right on back. Okay, so right now here, let's just look at the upside here first. So what we're looking at is 186 so far. Four, okay, you have to close above. Right above that is you have 186.86. Okay, that is your 8-day. You have to close above that in order to go higher. Now, again, if we can, then we'll just look to the top of this candle right here. You're looking at 188.49. We'll look to the bottom here. You're looking at uh, 189.54. We look to the top of this candle. You're looking at 190.90, uh, and then we'll come right up here. You're looking at 193.95. We have 194.53, and then your big retest up here at 195.37, and then if it gets in there, we have to see what it does. Does it come up here and pull back, or does it blast through? Now, if it blasts through, we just take this price channel right on over here and what do we have you got 196.62 and then we can just venture right on up here you got 227 and your big big target and breakout 201.20 you get above that she's blue sky okay now let's take a look here at the old downside well this 100 day here uh that's gonna be very key okay so you're looking at uh, uh one uh, uh 83.23 and then we'll look to the bottom of this candle okay you're looking at 180.88 then we have your 50-day here nicely at 179.23, and then we have 176.98, okay? But right now here, this is just like a sideways action, but you really have to, you have to close. You can't just pop up and then come back down here. You have to close above that 21-day. You have to close above that 8-day. Then she can go higher. Now, RSI here, you got plenty of room to run up here. You have a bearish cross here, but that's basically from here. That could, be, it could curl right back up here, but right now it is not doing that. Okay, we look at a weekly chart here, which is uh, here by Friday. You can see we're holding this 21-day at 182.97, and we're holding that nice 8-day at 181.91 here. So we just have some sideways action. But what we're looking for here, as long as you can hold that area on a closing basis by the end of the day, you got a good shot here to run this bad boy up here. Now we got to see how this, you know, this is October, so you got to be very, very cautious kind of a situation. And in the U.S. here, we have the election year, so that's going to throw a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, in, everything into the equation, and then we have that the uncertainty of the war that's going on there in the Middle East. That's always something. Now, the dock worker strike um, is not really solved. It's just kind of postponed till January. They're going to just you know, extend the contract till then, January 15th, I believe it is. And so we got to see what's going to happen to them. But again, if that dock worker strike goes back on, uh, that could be issues because what it is is really it's not just the pay that they're looking for, but it's that AI. OK, because AI can take up a, a lot of jobs. OK, real, real quick here. But uh, anyway, on Amazon here, just basically just watch this this 21 day. Watch that eight day on the upside. Watch that 100 day on the downside. If that's lost, we come down to the 50. We come down to the 0200. OK, let's take a look here at crude and net gas. OK, here we have crude oil, daily chart, natural gas, daily chart. OK, all right. Now you can see here, very, very bullish. OK, now we have a nice. Another higher high and a higher low situation off of this candle here. Now, this was here was when they, they had the war started pretty much. And then we came down, but you held that eight day, held that eight day, you popped over, over the 50 day. Now we have a good clean shot here right to that 200 day. So this is the target that you're looking for. This is that 76.18. We get above that, you got 77, uh, uh, 30 level here. That's at 200 SMA here, okay? So that's what you're kind of looking at at the on the upside level here, okay? Again, if you can get above, you know, this uh, uh, 200 day, well, then we're going to come right up here to the top of this candle. That's at 78.60. We'll come up here. You have 79.10. And then we're going to be looking here at that 80.15 level. Bring that right across, okay? And then we can just come right up here, follow the candles. You got uh, um, 82.27. We have uh, what we got up here. Okay, you we got 83.10, and then we can work yourself all the way up here to 83.74, and then your big retest up there at 84.52 level. Okay, but right now this is still in a downtrend situation. Okay, so when we look at this double top here, the series of lower highs. You can get all the way up here to that 100 day. 
even to that 200 day here now, and you're still going to be in a downtrend situation. The key is this is a war premium. So you got to be very, very careful here. OK, so this could pop up here, uh, you know, uh, 10 bucks. Very, very easy. But I don't think it's going to hold. That's the that's going to be the whole key because a lot of times it's buy the rumor, sell the new situation. So just remember, you got a war premium going on in here, and if that falters down, you right now you're sitting at uh, 74.92. You have a bottom here of uh, 66.33 uh, uh, here, so you got a lot of premium built in here because this basically you had that bear flag situation was working itself all the way on down. Okay, so you got a big premium going on there right now, a little bit over eight bucks there. Uh, so you got to just, you know, be very, very cautious here. If somehow this gets resolved or whatever, you know, I'm saying this could fall off the cliff real, real quick because regular supply and demand, the, the world right now is fully supplied kind of a situation. Now, that being said, the trade right now is long. It's not short. Don't even think about a short here until it's time to short. Right now, it's a long trade. Okay, this is what you're looking at. And again, over the weekend, I'm holding long over the weekend because I have no idea what's going to happen. A lot of times over the weekend is where all the, all the action happens. You can't get in or can't get out of a situation. But right now, I think the law, the, I'll cut my position down, but I think the uh, the trade now is long kind of a situation here going into the uh, weekend because you just it's kind of the unknown. But remember, this is a long situation. Look for that 100-day uh, that, uh, here. Look for that 200-day here uh, short term. But again, uh, with the war premium, that kind of situation, it could blast up 10 bucks. It could blast up to 100 bucks here. I mean, who knows? It all depends if the oil gets struck, you know, in that kind of a situation. Okay. Now to guess here. Now, I've been pointing out here this chart, this uh, price channel. So you have three bucks. Okay. So what do we have here today? We've got 30019. Uh, so you popped up, but you notice it couldn't hold it. Okay. You got to close above that. You can't just say, boo boo, little big ski, and then come down. That's not going to work. Okay. So now what we're doing is what I said, watch this eight day. This is going to be very, very key. This is now sitting at 2.86. If that's lost, you're going to come right to the bottom of this candle here at 2.82. Okay. And if that's lost, then you're going to come right down to this gap that's sitting at about uh, 2.72. Okay. And then we have that fill. Okay. At 2.685. But again, as long as you close above this eight day, this is very, very bullish chart, okay? So just always remember that. Now, on the upside here, well, now we just got to go into reverse here of what we had, okay? So what we do is we're looking here at the bottom. You're looking at uh, 2.87, okay? We'll look at the bottom of this candle. You're looking at uh, 2.90, and then we just keep working yourself up there, 2.948, and then you work yourself up to three. You blast above that three level, right there is going to be your target. It's going to be that uh, uh, 3.09, 3.13, and 3.15. But right now, we just have sideways action here. Don't get too excited about this here. You're coming into seasonality for natty gas. But again, you're at nosebleed section right here. See this? Okay. That's that nosebleed. Once you get over that red line, that's a 70 mark here. That tells you you're getting to an overbought condition and she's coming down a little bit. So we got to see how that shakes out. Now, your green is still over your red. It's starting to roll over, but it hasn't rolled over yet. As long as it stays above, you're in, you're in very, very good shape here. Okay, so let's just see how it is. Well, like actually, natural gas was a really good trade today. Actually, I scalped the cold, the short today, which I haven't done in a while. I got three points out of KOLD here today. So that was actually a pretty good trade here for a Friday on the old short ski. So again, watch this eight day. If that's lost, then you come right down here to the bottom, 2.82, and then we come 2.72, and then we'll come right on the top of here, 2.65 level. Okay, so right now here, just be very, very cautious here. As long as that eight days hold, you're good. If it loses it, then we know exactly where it's going, and you can come all the way down to the 21 day. So let's just see how this is all going to shake out here. Crude oil, you know, uh, the, the trade is long uh, until it isn't. That's exactly what you got. Okay, I'll be back here uh, after the old pit close, and we'll take a look here and see what's crude and natural gas is doing. And just remember, uh, the rig count will be out here at uh, 1 p.m. today. Thanks for watching.